Okay, so we want to take this tree with us. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to here today. It's actually the beginning of April 2019. Now, as you guys know, we're going to be heading on to a new piece of property here in a few months and I had a lot of people ask us and obviously it's a good question. You got all these fruit trees, how can you take them with you? <laughs> so the short and sweet answer is we're not. We're going to leave these trees here for the new owners. We want to bless them with what we've done here on this farm. So that's our goal there. However, we have found air layering. In fact, I'm going to link a video here where we did an update on our first attempt at air layering that was on a couple different mulberry varieties and so we kind of looked around and went hmm what else can we do this on so what we're looking at is we're looking at actually certain trees that we know we want to take that are a little harder to get a hold of that we think will do well with air layering we're going to show you one of those today so today is the first step in air layering so what we're going to be showing you today is the beginning of the process how we actually get essentially a cutting off of this tree the tree behind me here is our Yehuda loquat never done a video on this tree before however it's the only loquat tree that we have and you know what it's doing really really well we haven't gotten any fruit off of it however it's a beautiful tree reminds me of southern california so we definitely want to take one with us okay so here's the materials that we're going to be using today pretty much everything you're going to need in order to do air layering so i'm going to start here so obviously i've got a razor blade next thing would be rooting hormone um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually link uh an amazon link under, in the description below on the one that we use um, so we use rooting hormone some q-tips for applying the rooting hormone this here is coconut core uh, core c-o-i-r so this is a renewable source of uh, peat moss type material essentially what it does is it really holds a lot of moisture so what we're going to be doing is using this block in fact we got this block on Amazon as well. I'll put a link down in the description so you can take take a look at that. But you can get a 10 pound block of this for I think today it was under 20 bucks, like 18 or 19 bucks for some coconut core and a little bit goes a long long way. Um, we've got just some basic cheap uh, plastic here. So this is a uh, wrap plastic that you'd wrap you know bowls and dishes with. This is some uh, marking tape. Um, so this is um, elastic. You can get this at uh, like Home Depot or Lowe's and then some heavy duty foil. Now the key with the foil it needs to be heavy duty because what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a space around the tree itself or around the branch that's completely dark as if it was down in the ground so you'll see that as well a pair of uh, scissors and i've also got um, something that to basically break this coconut core up so with that um, all that is just a basic screwdriver so i'm going to be using that to break this up uh, and then of course a, a nice five gallon bucket uh, for soaking your coconut core okay so i'm not going to go into too much detail about the tree itself however Lori and i already went around and what we're doing is we're trying to find branches similar to this here that are vertical branches um, that are at least uh, half an inch in diameter or so um, and you know are really kind of good looking leafing out really well so look like strong strong growth uh, trying to get um, branches that are pretty straight either growing vertically up so more erect or horizontally e either one of those is fine we're also looking at things that we would normally be pruning off what branches would we would we be taking so we do kind of pay attention to that as well so we've got a branch picked out in the back so what we're going to do first though is we need to get that coconut core wet. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so before I continue, one other thing I forgot. I do need my pruners. So these are my Corona pruners. Um, so I'm going to be using these. We finally found the right branch that we want to give this a shot at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to actually clip off uh, any small branches and some leaves to get down to the trunk itself. So what we've done is we've chosen one of these center branches um, so we can take it off and it's not going to affect the look of the tree at all. Um, and it's also going to be shaded. So it'll be shaded in the afternoon. So let's take off some of these leaves so we can see this trunk. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking a sharp, sharp blade. So there's actually specific tools for that. Um, we don't have them, so we're gonna use this because it worked last time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into here now, choose the spot where we're gonna do our air layer. And what I need is I need a, I need about two inches or so of trunk, essentially, because that's what this is gonna become. So I need about two inches of trunk. Okay, so you're getting a voice over here. We had some issues with the video we shot on the low quad. So this is actually me working on a mulberry tree later in the day. So you'll see me making cuts in the bark. So I go around the bark and then I make a single cut from one end to the other, which will then allow me to peel that bark back. You'll see me doing that here. 
So once I have that started to peel, I can actually just take my fingers and it'll come off really in one piece. Now I've got the cambium layer. So what I need to do is scrape the cambium layer off. You do want to head or actually go in the direction towards the trunk of the tree so you're not damaging your new tree. So you'll see me scraping that cambium layer off all the way around. Okay, so we have that done. So you can see how much skinnier that is there. So that cambium layer is basically gone. So what we're wanting is we're wanting roots to actually start generating from this spot here. This is the new tree. So roots generating, <laughs> that's where rooting hormone comes in. So we're gonna be using this one here. This is Garden Safe Take Root. Um, again, I think it's like five bucks or so on Amazon. Um, very, very simple to use. It's a powder. All we do is just take a Q-tip, dip it into the powder, and then we're gonna take and apply it as best we can around that cut. So if Lori wants to pan down, you're going to see our coconut core is doing really, really good soaking up this water. I don't mind seeing that extra water. I want to see that. We want this just nice and thoroughly soaked. This is where the roots are going to be generated here over the next couple months. There will be the soil that the roots are going to be in when we go to cut this. So this is going into this saran wrap. And then we're going to take this saran wrap and essentially go around that cut in the tree. It does take two of us because I am not a professional at this. <laughs> so I really need an extra set of hands to make sure I can get in there. We're gonna do the best we can to get in there as close as we can so you can see the details here. So we've got, uh, essentially we've got the, the saran wrap or that plastic wrap um, around the coconut core, which is a nice ball around that, uh, that cut that you saw me make in the branch. So now we're gonna, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some of this heavy duty foil, wrap this so it thinks it's underground and we'll start generating roots. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> At least that's the beginning. <laughs> so we're halfway there. A nice and tightly wrapped, and we'll probably come through, really make sure that it's cinched all the way down here on the bottom, maybe even add another thin layer of it. Um, but what I really like about this that we didn't really do last time is we've got it protected down here in the middle of the tree. So we're not gonna get that hard, intense sunlight. Give this a chance to maintain that moisture, give us some roots, and more importantly, give us a tree. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. You know, if you haven't done so already, hey, subscribe to the channel. You know, there's a lot of things we cover here. Obviously, we hinted to it in the beginning. We're gonna be going from this one acre property onto our brand new six acres of flat desert land that we're gonna be turning into a functioning farm, a lot like what you see around us. So join us for that. Instagram and Facebook, if you haven't started following us there, we post content there that you won't see here on the YouTube channel. And if you have any comments or questions, hey, leave them in the comment section down below. Laura and I would love to interact with you there. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. Here we're going to show you one of the ways that we make babies here on the farm. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> That's not good. Let's try this again. And we're coming to you here today with a hen screaming in the background. <laughs>